When we first purchased our RV, this is what the multimedia kind of configuration for the RV looked like. Basically two TVs and they had just a run-of-the-mill surround sound DVD speaker system inside of it. And to get TV, of course we weren't going to buy cable, you could just use over-the-air TV and there was an antenna in the RV and it has the antenna routed to all the TVs. So the first thing we had to do was really we needed to get internet. And since we're an RV, since we're mobile, we decided to go with clear wireless. So what you're seeing here is a clear wireless modem. And uh, we also decided to use an Airport Extreme wireless base station. Now I'll tell you, I looked at a Linksys, I looked at a D-Link, I looked at uh, a couple of the others, and I tried them with the clear modem, and honestly, they would do just fine for about an hour, and then they'd drop a connection, and I'd have bad internet for about 10 minutes, and then they would start up again. So, to be very honest, the only reliable 802.11n router I personally could find was an Airport Extreme, and I don't know why people use those others unless they experience outages and don't know, don't care, but uh, my wife and I are very discriminating, and so the Airport Extreme was the only router that would work reliably. Um, and we don't feel like we're Apple bigots or fanboys, whatever you want to call them, but uh, that's what we used. Now that we have uh, wireless, we were able to hook up the kids' nooks and iPods and our MacBooks and our Windows laptops, and we have a lot of wireless devices. We also needed to print, so we were able to buy a printer and uh, bought an Epson printer. Love that Epson printer. It's a scanner, and so it scans onto a SD card, and then that SD card is shared, and so we can do quite a lot with it. It's a wonderful little printer, and I've had it for a couple years. It's a Workforce 600. I don't think you can get it anymore, but you can get uh, new versions like a 635. And then we decided to do something a little bit different. And this is probably the most innovative thing in this presentation is we purchased the Mac Mini because we have a wireless network and we thought we needed yet one more computer, like a server for the house. And the interesting part is where we placed it. We placed it in the TV cabinet. So that's why on this diagram I've located next to our large TV with the surround sound. And it turns out you can just hook an HDMI cable from the Mac Mini to the TV. And then you can connect the audio from your Mac Mini to the audio on your stereo. So now I have surround sound stereo and I have HDMI going from my Mac Mini to the TV. So I have a really great display for that. And I can put DVDs in the Mac Mini. I can stream movies over the internet. There's a lot you can do with it. And, and honestly, if it's going to be a server, I went ahead and hooked up a Western Digital USB drive to the Mac Mini. And using Apple's built-in, comes with the operating system, it's not an extra 20 bucks like everything is with Windows. No, there's so much comes with the Apples for free that they really have a tremendous software value. I just hooked the USB drive up and Apple's Time Machine backup just takes care of everything. And uh, our, our photos, our, our iTunes, all our, we got, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of uh, CDs that we've ripped and backed up to the Mac Mini. Um, I could go on with all the different things. The documents we scan, they're all available there. And then, of course, once you have a device in the entertainment cabinet and a TV, you, you really need to talk to it. So... We uh, purchased a Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth keyboard, and Mac Mini, of course, has Bluetooth just built in. And so that's how we control the, the unit. And, and I guess to a degree, we always are looking for the, the keyboard and the mouse that's spread around the, the room, just like you would any remote. So that's how we deal with the entertainment cabinet. Um, 
Then the next most interesting thing we did is we took the over-the-air TV antenna from the RV and we fed it directly into this little box called a Home Run HD tuner, which has two tuners in it, and then we sent that into the Apple Airport Extreme. And then over on the Mac Mini, we're running a personal video recorder program from Elgato that uh, with this home run can record two channels simultaneously and, and I didn't show this on the diagram but we also have a USB TV tuner stick in the Mac Mini so we can record three channels at a time simultaneously that's really cool um, there's always really not a lot of TV to watch but when a good show comes on invariably there's a good show on the other channel I, I don't know why that happens but it just is the way it works out and of course, all our TV shows that go on the Mac Mini, we actually store them on the Western Digital USB drive so that uh, uh, we have plenty of drive space for it. And then finally, once you have a, a, a Wi-Fi network and you got the iTunes library on the Mac Mini and you're able to record TV shows from Elgato and it automatically imports them into iTunes, why not get an Apple TV? So we spent the 99 bucks for the TV in our bedroom. It connects with one cable to the um, TV in the bedroom. It's a HDMI cable. And lo and behold, we can watch pretty much whatever we want. We can get amazing content from the internet. And uh, it's just a dynamite combination. And just to cap it all off, these are the kind of things, you know, with a good Wi-Fi network like, like we have that gets shared over the, over the network. You know, we got the printer and the scanner. You got all the recorded TV shows, all your iTunes libraries. You can get the Apple. There's all sorts of little apps that are on the Apple TV. I mean, you can't add apps, but they come with it. Um, anything that was scanned, three channels of HD TV that you can record, all the computers inter interconnect, and really anything on the internet you have access to as well. Uh, Apple TV, I don't think, can do that, but uh, everything else can get really good access to the internet. So this is our overall setup, and maybe this will help you figure out what you can do. It, it wasn't too expensive. Um, I guess one of my biggest comments here is I, I love the Airport Extreme. It's very reliable. And the Clear Wireless, we've had it for almost two years now, and that is really just a stellar product. The Home Run HD Box, um, we have just been thrilled with the multi-channel HD TV recording. Um, and uh, the Bluetooth keyboards are, are just a wonderful product, you know, and the Epson. So these are all products we've been really happy with. Anyway, that's our setup. Thank you.